Let's go rap math for three. What Nav pours up to feel like himself again, plus what age Bankroll Hayden said he's going to become a millionaire. Graydon. What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the most star-crossed show on the internet. My name is Ryze Edwards, my lovely co-host Graydon. Stop. And welcome to the third episode of Hive Mind Jeopardy. No need to really explain this one. We've got two boards of trivia and a final Jeopardy question. It's gonna be me versus Graydon versus you. All of you. That kind of covers everybody if you've been waiting to hear your name, like from Patreon. Yeah. You know, that's kind of everybody. So yeah. That's, that's all of you. All right, before we do, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our brand new merch. We also got to drop over on Cope's website. It's linked in the description along with our Patreon and our Cameo if you'd like to support us. Or click the join button here on YouTube and become a member. I love the members. We also got short form content over on TikTok and Instagram Reels. Check us out over there. Buzzers out. <laughs> Just kidding. Can't drink a buzzer. <laughs> you can drink a buzz ball though. 115 of them last night at a tailgate. Heard that. That's what I had. I heard that. I drank 115 buzz balls and I couldn't stop tailgating the car in front of me. Too slow. Yeah. He's going like 90 on the highway. I hate grandpas and grandmas the like. Let's get the first board up. Once again, DJ Grant is mic'd up and he's going to tell us the categories for the first round. Today's categories are the following. Rap math. You'll be given two iconic rap lyrics or phrases involving numbers to solve the given equation. Arctic animals. Guess the movie from the four screenshots. Alma mater. You'll be provided with a celebrity or artist and have to guess the college they attended. Movie music. You'll be provided with a director and an artist and have to guess the movie and the song with the same name. And finally, potpourri. This is our music trivia category. Wow, I love it. I hate math, though. Oh, I like math. Big oh, numbers. Really? Yeah. Oh. Riley is our returning champion. The board is yours. Let's start with movie music for one, please. Quentin Tarantino and SZA. Riley. What is Kill Bill? That is correct. Uh, nice one. Uh, okay, I see. I see it. My gears are turning. It was pretty simple, yeah. I know. Song I don't... and movie that are the same name. <laughs> Took a minute to figure out for me, but I have got a hold on it now. Nice, man. My good sir. Good. Good first point. <laughs> Let's do potpourri for one, please. Red Fu, one of the members of this shots group, has a writing credit on King Kunta by Kendrick Lamar. Riley. What is LMFAO? That is correct. He has a writing credit on King Kunta? Why? What did he write on King Kunta? Is it like an interpolation? He says, Party Rock is in the house tonight. <laughs> wow, I had no idea. That stands for laughing my fucking ass off. <laughs> no one uses raffle anymore. Yeah, I used to raffle cop. Them. Yeah, we always. What happened to us? No one rolls around the floor. All we do is laugh our asses off. <laughs> I miss rolling on the floor. Me too. Hurts my back now. You know what? Let's go with Arctic animals for one. This apex predator of the Arctic is able to smell its prey under four feet of snow. Graydon. Polar bear. That is correct. Oh. Apex legend. Oh, is that a, that's a video game. It is, and that's an apex legend of a predator. <laughs> right. You ever seen one shaved? Polar bear shaved, correct. Oh. Uh, what? What do you mean correct? <laughs> that is right. What? <laughs> what is giant naked mole rat? No, I, uh, uh, well, yeah, I guess. I was just asking if you'd seen one. It's not like you don't have to phrase that in the form of a question. I will not from then on. I saw one at a petting zoo once. Not a, really, you're not going to pet it, but it was like a <laughs> little zoo, kind of in like a hips back barn type scenario. He had a liger. I think it was just a German shepherd. Had like a caribou, and then he had a polar bear, but it had lost all of its fur due to being in the Ohio climate and not the Arctic <laughs> climate. Now, when did you go? It still had a caribou, huh? Because they, they got rid of all those. No, it's just Starbucks and oh. Big B's, right? Arctic animals for five, please. Ugh. This small tundra inhabiting rodent is falsely believed to commit mass suicide every few years through cliff jumping. Riley. What is a lemming? That is correct. Ooh. They can't turn. They can't turn? That's the thing. They go straight. <laughs> That's why they fall <laughs> off the cliffs. They cannot turn. Really? Yep. Lemmings wow. cannot turn. A lemming line, people will say, if you're on a straight line. I've had Sprite. That's a lemming line soda, right? I wish you would fall off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I can't turn. I cannot turn. <laughs> I'm straight. I just can't turn. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're bored, Riley. No, I'm actually having a good time. Uh, alma mater for one, please. It was wicked smart of Matt Damon to write the first draft of Goodwill Hunting in his playwriting class at this Ivy League. Graydon. Harvard. That is correct. You like apples? How do you like them apples? Yeah, because he gets the girl's number. <laughs> yeah. Says, you see that? You like apples? I'm fucking Ben Affleck, bitch. <laughs> well, he doesn't say I'm Ben Affleck because he's not. <laughs> he does at some point. He's Matt Damon. <laughs> well, right, but it's part of the character. I don't know. Yeah. Wicked smart. Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Let's go rap math for three. 
what Nav pours up to feel like himself again, plus what age Bankroll Hayden said he's going to become a millionaire. Graydon. Oh, 21. Oh. That is correct. He pours up a four. Bankroll Hayden swiped his visa in Costa Rica at 17. He's going to be a millionaire. Four <laughs> plus 17. 21. Can you do something for me? <laughs> I love that category. Wow, that is a, I, I, I like it now that I'm seeing it. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be stupid. Yeah. But now I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Give me rap math for five. Where bitches treat Travis Scott like he's Uncle Luke, minus what type of rum J.I.D. had with a blunt. Graydon. 303? That is incorrect. <sighs> Riley. What is 256? That is incorrect. What the hell? Ah, the 305. I thought it was 405 and 101 rum. I don't know why I thought it was 101. <laughs> See, I did 405 minus 151. Yeah. In the 305, it's just treat me like, I was doing in the 405, it's just treat yeah. me like I'm Uncle Luke. Big numbers. Big I still would have gotten it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I would have. It would have been 254, right? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going rap math for four. The amount of M's in 21 Savage's bank account times what day trip took it to. Riley. What is 80? That is correct. It's kind of tough though because 21 says a lot of numbers on the way to get to eight. I thought <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a million times a hundred and I almost answered that. So I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I thought it was a million M's in his bank account, but it's just a million digits. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight M's in my bank account. And then it's day trip took it to 10. Yeah. This is an amazing category. Yeah, I know. We're going to keep going with yeah. it, hopefully. Oh, I am going to switch it up really quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with movie music for two, please. Martin Scorsese and The Weeknd. I don't know enough Martin Scorsese movies to know this one, I don't think. Oh, man. I want to guess, but I'm already in such a hole. I'm not going to. All right. We're giving up on this one. This is After Hours. Oh. I got that. Shout out Scorsese, though. Let's do movie music for three. John Favreau and ACDC. I don't know either of these. John Favreau directed? Graydon. What is Swingers? Not there. <laughs> Swingers! <laughs> I don't know. That was my ACDC swinger song. I'm not going to guess on this one, so. This is Iron Man. Oh, John Favreau directed Iron Man. Wow. That. He came a long way from being Vince Vaughn's shitty wingman. <laughs> Still me? Yep. Let's do Alma Mater for two, please. Alex G may not have attended this made-up university, but it was still the title of his 2014 album. Riley. What is Dream State University or DSU? That is correct. That's a great album. And that painting by his sister on the cover. I mean, one of my favorite album covers of all time. It's kind of like a Phoenix University situation. Yeah, it's kind of a made up university. Nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> Only category we haven't touched is movie from the four shots. So let's do that for one, please. Graydon. Is this Groundhog Day? That is correct. The alarm clock. Pucks at Tawny Phil, you know? <laughs> Show me movies from the Four Shots 5. Graydon. Is this Pink Floyd's The Wall? That is incorrect. <sighs> well, I don't know. I don't know movies at all, so I'm not gonna... No thanks. This is a Clockwork Orange. Ah! <laughs> Right. I don't know why I guess Pink Floyd. The final frame looked like the scene where the kids are eating people meat. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Give me movie music for five. Harmony Corinne and 6 9 Riley. What is gummo? That is correct. Nice. I was going to guess Spring Breakers, so I'm glad you got it. <laughs> Sprang break. <laughs> Harmony Korine, big shout out. I just watched Trash Humpers the other day. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, it is terrible. They literally hump trash cans yeah. for a good part of it. And Harmony Korine's future wife is in it, so it's kind of romantic, but it's not <laughs> right. at all. It's right. disgusting and depraved. Great song, by the way. We don't want to admit it, but it's a great song. It Potpourri is. for two, please. This paper bag singer said she was inspired to quit cocaine after spending an excruciating night taking it with Paul Thomas Anderson and Quentin Tarantino. Uh, I... Riley. Is this Katy Perry? That is incorrect. Who sings Paper Bag? Right, that's... <laughs> well, no, I know. Yeah. I, for some reason in my head, I was like, Katy Perry sings that song, but that's not true. <laughs> Who was this? I, I remember this story, too. I wish real questions on Jeopardy were like this. After an excruciating <laughs> night of doing cocaine with PTA and Quentin Tarantino, <laughs> this singer was inspired to quit the drug. Ken's like, that's right. <laughs> I'm throwing it in here. This is Fiona Apple. 
Oh, oh duh. Fiona was doing big lines with PTA. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Why did I guess Katy Perry? That's embarrassing. <laughs> hey, but hey, whatever. That's all right. Your brain goes blank when you play this game in front of the lights. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Arctic animals for two, please. Contrary to popular belief, the 10 foot long tusk that extends from this animal is anatomically a tooth, not a bone. Graydon. It's a narwhal. Narwhal. That is correct. <laughs> Almost didn't give me it off a little mispronunciation. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know made up animals were in this category. Hey, they're real, man. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, shoot. Give it to me, baby. Uh, 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 show me. <laughs> give me Arctic animals for four. This flightless bird was named after its crest, which resembled the feathers on hats in the 18th century. Graydon. It's a penguin? Emperor penguin? That is incorrect. <laughs> ah. Oh, um... Fancy penguin of some kind. Some kind of penguin, but uh, I'm not gonna guess. It is a macaroni penguin. Ah, the macaroni penguin. Well, I believe I they're in South Africa. Never would have gotten that. <laughs> I didn't know that, that existed, but it's a cute name and I'd love yeah. to see it. Uh, show me alma mater for five. Astronomer Carl Sagan and former presidential candidate Bertie Sanders both attended this Big Ten founding school that has since been demoted to Division Three. No shot for me. I, I don't know anything about Bernie Sanders. I'm too far in the red. I want to guess like the University of Vermont, but I'm not going to. Okay. This is the University of Chicago. <sighs> Whew. Very conservative school. Interesting that Bernie went there. Is it a conservative school? Yeah, big time. Whoa. Probably wasn't in like 1885 or whatever, <laughs> but he's old as shit, man. That's so, that's like. <laughs> oh, it's uncalled for. Everybody's calling our president a corpse and I can't call the goddamn governor of Vermont a relic. He is. He's an old Jewish guy. 1885 is just hyperbolic. Though. Okay, whatever. You know? Now, does a 9-11 challenge, does that apply to a negative 9 to 11? No. Now it's got to be positive, just like the day. You'll understand in time. I guess, uh, yeah, we kind of got to function from ground zero, so. All right. Show me rap math for two. How many questions 50 Cent will ask all about us, plus how many phones Kevin Gates has? Riley. What is 23? That is correct. 21 questions. Yeah. Plus two phones. I got two <laughs> phones. Baby Keem has two phones. Yeah. Kevin Gates has two phones. I can't even get one on my new plan. I got a home phone and a cell phone, so I technically have two. You have a home phone still? Mm -hmm. Why? In case E.T. needs to borrow it. Phone home. <laughs> <laughs> It's your board, buddy. <laughs> you should just stick to like the wacky kind of shenanigans because the wordplay stuff, I don't know, man. <laughs> Bet. Popery for five, please. Michael Phelps, in this viral meme from the 2016 Rio Olympics, later gave a VMA speech revealing he was listening to this Atlanta artist at the time. Graydon. Future. That is correct. Shout out Hendrix. Shout out Phelps. Shout out uh, Ryan Lochte. <laughs> shout out Simone Biles. Yeah. Shout out... Uh, all them Swedish dudes who do that skiing, shooting thing. That's just badass as fuck. And uh, don't forget my guy Usain Bolt. <laughs> Hello. I saw somebody say that Michael Phelps is the best athlete of all time the other day. What do you think? Um, I think it's. I think he's in the conversation. It's the most decorated Olympian in modern history. I mean, if you're going by pure dominance in their sport, Michael Phelps walked for like 12 years. What other athlete is in the conversation? Is it just <sighs> Tiger Woods and him and LeBron? Tom Brady? Yeah. I wouldn't even consider Tom Brady, though. People say Tom Brady pretty often. People yeah. also say like Wayne Gretzky. I don't care. Not hockey. It's more dancing to me. <laughs> right. It is kind of figure skating. So lame. When you think about it. It's a brutalist sport for white men. All right, let's go. Let's just do rap math for one. Finish me. The number of eaters in Central C's SUV minus who Drake has in the studio every night, late night. Graydon. 60. That is correct. 100 eaters. Me and 40 in this studio. <laughs> Studio. Studio! <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. It's so tired doing a British accent. Central C is cool. I can only fit 90 eaters in my SUV. <laughs> it is a little SUV. It's damn near like a crossover. It's kind of a sedan. Yeah. <laughs> um, show me movies from the Shots 4. Graydon. Carrie. That is correct. You've seen so many more movies than me. I'm out of the depths. I think that brought me to one. <laughs> I'm at one now. Here I come. Start the train. Someone give me a train whistle. <laughs> not, not great, but you know what? Thank you. Beep, beep. That's better. No, that's not better. Like There's that. no way you thought that was better. It was way better as a steam whistle. Oh, I got a better idea. Go ahead. Hey. So, sister, ain't that Mr. Mr. on the radio, stereo, the way you move ain't fair, you know. Is that good? That was nice, man. I didn't like doing it. 
<laughs> Give me movie shots for three. Oh, uh, what the fuck? <sighs> Oh, I almost want to guess because the one's making me think of something, but last time I did that, it didn't pay off, so I'm not going to do it. This is E.T., the extraterrestrial. I almost got six cents. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is I was going to guess E.T. I have seen that movie. It's a good movie, it's and I brought so it up good. earlier. It's so good. Literally made the phone home joke earlier. Oh, yeah, that one's definitely going to make the cut. <laughs> You don't blow a burp at somebody. I don't care what happens. <laughs> you I, don't care what, I, I don't care what happens. You never blow a burp at somebody. Huh? Finish me off in the movies, Tony. Graydon. Wet, hot, American summer. <laughs> Riley's. <That's> correct. <laughs> <laughs> One of the few movies Riley's seen. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite comedy of all time. I not. literally buzzed right after you <laughs> too. Ah, not quick enough. God, you, what a movie though. You taste like cheeseburgers. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, please. Please, do yourself a favor. Um, show me those critters for three. Thick adipose tissue, also called this, is found on sea mammals in extremely cold climates and is needed for both warmth and buoyancy. Graydon. Seals? That is incorrect. Oh, I fuck. Riley. What is blubber? Yeah. That is correct. All right, cool, you kind of led me there. Yeah. Once, once he said seals, I was like, what do seals got? Blubber. And Great movie, by the way, with Robin Williams. Really good personalities, too. That's another thing seals have. And no arms. They go, <laughs> that's how they get around. And kiss from a rose, too. <laughs> kiss from a rose. Yeah. All right, you're bored again. No, once again, I'm having a great time, man. Alma mater for three, please. Megan Thee Stallion garnered her degree from this school in Houston. It's even the title of a Drake song. Riley. What is TSU? That is correct. Yeah. Texas State, I hope. University. <laughs> Problematic song, but God, is it catchy. It's really good. Her daddy is not around. Yeah. Her mama is definitely not around. <laughs> Nobody's home right now. <laughs> Lock all the doors right now. I covered the ring doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do movie music for four, please. Ryan Johnson and Radiohead. No, I'm not going to take a risk. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. This is Knives Out. Oh. Good terrible thing. movie. Great song. I don't know if the song is good. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, you know that song, huh? It's probably better than the movie. Well, the first one's good. No, it's not. I liked it better than Glass Onion. I liked watching two people get in a car crash this morning better than Glass Onion. <laughs> That's fucked up to say. Well, you also told me you liked Knives Out before, and then Glass Onion came out, and then all of a sudden you hate Knives Out. It was like, whatever. Daniel Craig is obnoxious in that. Yeah, I agree. Where's the murderer? <laughs> <laughs> Potpourri for three, please. Nice. Double. I forgot these were even in here. Yeah, I'm surprised <laughs> it took us this long to get to it. Well, there's three questions left. Make it a true. What do I have? 19. Go true on it. Does that mean six? No, it means 19. Oh, six. This three-time NBA champion Nevada alum has produced songs for Justin Bieber, Quando Rondo, and Young Thug, among others. Went to Nevada and has produced songs for Justin Bieber? And he's a three-time champ? <laughs> this is insane. Who, what? I don't know. I feel like I should know this, but I sure don't. So I'm just going to take my six-point deduction and move on. Who is it? This is JaVale McGee. No way. JaVale McGee in the lab. Produced for Young Thug and Bieber. Good for him, man. That wow. is a long goofball of an NBA player. <laughs> so silly he got three rings today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do alma mater for four, please. Spike Lee is a screenwriting professor at this East Coast school, the largest private university in America, where he received his graduate degree. Graydon. NYU? That is correct. Let's go, purple. <laughs> you love that place, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what are they, the violets? It's something just like the color. You know I'm pretty I mean? sure they're the, the huskies. No, it is a color. I think they're the violets. Really? Violent violets. That's what they call them. The violent violets? Yeah, they rip their opponents to shred. I don't even think they have sports, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. All right, shout out Spike Lee. Finish me off, Tony. The Clash's London Calling album cover pays homage to this other artist's self-titled debut. Oh, oh, I know this, but I, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. This is Elvis Presley. That's literally what I was going to say, but I didn't want to sound like an idiot. Because I remember I looked at this recently and I was like, I always just thought people were paying homage to The Clash. When really, I guess they're all kind of, by the transitive property, paying homage to Elvis Presley. The king. The white king. Keep it in mind, okay? A lot of stuff didn't come from Elvis. A lot of stuff came from a bunch of other people. 
Oh, thanks. What are you going to tell me next? To listen to women? If there are women here to listen to, I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to listen to them. Before we see the board for Double Jeopardy, I did want to say something that's been on my mind recently. Okay. I really wish I could talk to the dead. You know, I miss my grandpas, but I can't. So I just go to the graveyard and throw a rose at a stone. <laughs> <laughs> rose stone, the thing that teaches you languages. Yeah, there's a, there's a language barrier. Not too far. <laughs> Grant, what do we got on the board for Double Jeopardy? The second board's categories are the following. Down the timeline, you will be given a sports event, an album, and a news event and put them in order from least recent to most recent. Duets. You will be given two albums from different artists connected by a common name. An example would be, if it's a Two Chains album and a Chain Smokers album, the answer is Two Chain Smokers. Guess the Grammy winner from the speech. Word origins. Who shot ya? This is our music videos question. And finally, video game sounds. I will play a sound from a video game and you have to guess the video game that that sound is from. Oh, I love this. Yeah. I think I like this board better than the first one. And I'm down in points, so I'm gonna go first. Um, give me word origins for eight. Ancient Romans thought flexing looked like mouses coming up from under your skin, which is why we use this word directly descended from Latin for little mice. Bumpy pecs? Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss the towel in on this one. Yeah, me too. This is muscle. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> It's not slang at all, it's just no. a real word. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Marcel. Give me word origins for 10. We use a derivative name for this fruit, which the Aztecs called testicles because of their texture, shape, and they grow in pairs. Riley. Cherries. That is incorrect. Oh man. Turnips. I don't know, I'm throwing it in. This is avocado. Oh, I was gonna say it. Ah, I was gonna say it, <laughs> but I'll take you losing 10. So we've been eating balls toast this whole time? <laughs> What the heck? Do testicles taste like avocados? Do avocados grow in pears? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. They kind of look like pears a little bit. I almost said pears because <laughs> derivative was in the clue and pears was at the end. And I was like, is this stupid? <laughs> All right, cool. Avocado, wow. see you later. <laughs> All right, it's up to you. Okay. Give me duets for 10. Cool High Harmony, Uncle Jazz. Uh-uh. Yep, nope. This is Boys to Men I Trust. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like that. Wow. Boys to Men I Trust. Yeah. Yeah. Boys turn into men that I trust. I trust all men <laughs> that I knew as boys. Really? Yeah. That is not a good mantra. It's not a good way to live your life. No, it's not. Thank you, though. I'm just going to clear some more out. Give me video game sounds for eight. It's nice, it's a good sound, but it feels Nintendo-y to me, and I don't go there. That's the only place I go, but yeah. I am not gonna guess in this category at all. <laughs> what? Guess. I just said I wasn't gonna guess. Oh. <laughs> you did this in another episode, it's not okay to touch somebody else's buzzer without consent. Oh, gross. All right, yeah, I'll throw it in too. This is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Not Nintendo, wow. When you land a big trick and goes, Dun! That's great. Oh. <laughs> I miss those games, man. Yeah. All right, let's go something easy. Let's go down the timeline for two. USA women's team knocked out of the World Cup. Business is business by Young Thug. The world's hottest month on record. Graydon. Hottest month, women's soccer team, and then business is business? That is incorrect. <laughs> fuck. Riley. Business is business, hottest month, women's team. That is correct. Boom, easy. Business is business was like two months ago. Hottest month was last month. July, and then USA knocked out just happened. Yeah. Sweden. All right, cool. Let's go girls. I am gonna go with Who Shot You for two. This renowned Goodfellas director crossed into the music video sphere for Michael Jackson's Bad. <laughs> I don't know who directed Goodfellas, that's embarrassing. Not for me, I don't watch movies, and I don't really do Michael Jackson stuff. I'm not I'm not a baddie, you know. Cole Bennett. Yeah, it's not gonna be Cole. <laughs> it's not gonna be Cole. It's from Chicago. It could have gangster lineage. I think uh both of those things happened before he was born. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna throw it in. This is Martin Scorsese. Yeah, duh. I literally was like, he didn't do good fellas. He did The Godfather. He did both. <laughs> Turns out he can do a lot of gangster movies. He also did casino and uh. Uh, let's do duets for two, please. Daytona Epiphany. Graydon. Is this Pusha T Grizzly? That is incorrect. 
It just sound, it felt right. Yeah. He wouldn't have an album named Epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to just, whatever, I'm just going to guess. Riley. Pusha TLC? That is incorrect. Ooh. Could be Pusha T.I. This is Pusha T-Pain. Pusha T-Pain! Ah. Uh, God, they'd make a great track together. Yeah, I wish it was a uh, rapper turned Sanga. <laughs> that way I would have gotten it for sure. Yeah. All right, let's do Grammy winner from the speech for two, please. Everybody wanted to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. Riley. Who is Kanye West. That is correct. Yeah, this is when he won for graduation or late registration? Oh, uh, late registration. Late registration. Okay, yeah. I remember it from the, the documentary. How about Who Shot You For Four? This artist created, directed, and edited the music video for her song Video Games all from her bedroom. Graydon. I buzzed and I don't really know. I'm going to go with Claro. That is incorrect. <laughs> Riley. Lana Del Rey. That is correct. <laughs> yeah, she's got that big song, Video Games. <laughs> Life yeah. is like a video game. I heard Bedroom and She and I thought Claro. Bedroom pop. Yeah. I got a few bedroom pops on my nightstand. I love soda before bed. <laughs> you do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to have at least three Dr. Peppers before yep. I can shut my eyes at night. <laughs> my uh, mouth is ruined. I got a couple of bedroom pops too. Yeah? Beer. Oh. I can't go to bed without drinking. <laughs> my life is ruined. Nice. Yeah. It's less of a joke. Every joke has a little shred of truth in it. You know, yep. that's what they say. And every bit of truth is kind of funny. Ooh, we kind of stumbled into something there. That's poetic. <laughs> Duets for four, please. There you go. No goddamn way. <laughs> How about you do a true for once? <laughs> what do I have? How many points do I got? Nine. I'll do nine. Under construction, either or. Oh, yeah. I, I went to buzz. I don't need to buzz. <laughs> no, you it's don't. just me. Missy Elliott Smith. That is correct. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there a we go. true daily double. I think that's our first one. Yeah, I think so too. That's awesome. Wow. That's how the big dogs do it, man. <laughs> you wager it all. You got to take a risk in life. Grammy winner from the speech for four, please. As the first woman to win an album of the year at the Grammys twice, I want to say to the young women out there, there are going to be people along the way who try to undercut your success or take credit from your accomplishments or your fame. Graydon. Taylor Swift. That is correct. God, I love her. Stop. Pandering. I'm not pandering. I love Taylor Swift. You said in another video that you just straight up don't care about her and you hate having to care. And you think you're going to get mobbed by her fans if you say anything negative about her. Yeah, and they mobbed me. So So now you love her. I can't not. They'll kick my, kick my little ass. Your ass isn't even little anymore. <laughs> not in a good way, dude. Okay. You keep putting those shots in it. And yeah. I honestly don't think they're doing like what you intended. It doesn't look natural. Fireball. Stoli vanilla. No, no, no. I know. Drop. You drink a lot. I'm talking oh. about the actual injections you do into your ass. It's all lumpy and confusing. <laughs> it doesn't look like any person's ass I've ever seen. It's fun, though. It's not fun. It's my fun bag. Honest, it looks infected. It is. Yeah. See? It leaks. <laughs> see, I don't, I don't see the appeal. I don't see why you're doing this. <laughs> oh, whatever. My board. <laughs> I'm going to try and get back into it here. Um, video game sounds for 10. Hammer down! Guy sounds angry. I'll say that. <laughs> Hammer down. Who got a hammer? Who got that hammer on him? Hammer down. The hammer down boys. I used to wear hammer downs growing up. Couldn't afford new clothes. Yeah, I had me a few hammer downs. Yeah, I'm not going to go. This is Overwatch. Oh, what a great game. You got to stop pretending to like shit, man. I'm just trying to <laughs> just like the shit you like. We have too many fans. I'm trying to fit in. I They, they don't care. Yes, they, they, do. they like to disagree with us. Overwatch. No. Sick yeah. game. What was That's that? That's what they do on Overwatch, <laughs> I think. What What do you mean? It looks like you're eating a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Be a huge butthole. Still my board. <laughs> I am going to keep guessing big ones. It's what I do. I'm a big player. Give me down the timeline for 10. Ugh. Kurt Gibson's World Series walk-off home run. Disintegration by the cure. The Berlin Wall falls. What the fuck? <laughs> this is like a million years ago. <laughs> I gotta take a guess here. It's too it's too risky though, and I don't even know which one's first. <laughs> Riley, Berlin Wall, then <laughs> a true blue guest, then Kurt Gibson, then The Cure. That is incorrect. <laughs> yes, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that there. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> what was the correct order? Kurt Gibson. Disintegration and the Berlin Wall. Straight as it was. Yes. That's the, it's the ultimate trick. Okay, whatever. Mr. Gorbachev, throw me a curveball. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Reagan deep to left field. <laughs> Give me Grammy winner from the speech for 10. I didn't even know Grammys were given to tone deaf singers like me. I'd especially like to thank Bill and Chelsea who lived through the process with me. Who's the lead singer of the Deftones? Riley. Hillary Clinton. That is correct. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Bill. Bill Clinton. And Chelsea. I don't know. Bill and Chelsea Clinton. Why'd she win a Grammy? I don't know. Probably for something. It was a uh, best read of an audiobook for her book. Oh, man. <laughs> I got my 10 right back. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> that is just, I just knew Bill and Chelsea. It had to be Hillary Clinton. I didn't know who Chelsea was. Handler. She's talking about Chelsea Handler. No, oh, she is? Yeah, Chelsea Handler was right there with her the whole she time. She lives with her? Yeah, she's with her roommates. <laughs> wow. Bill doesn't even live with her. Right. He lives on a the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> Guy loves to play 18. And it shows. Great short game. Duets for six, please. This is happening. Toxicity. I'm not going to get there. Me neither. This is LCD sound system of a down. <laughs> Great one. I love it. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome, man. I knew both of the albums, but I couldn't place like who they were by. You I am know? so bad with albums. That's not my category. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it was like their biggest song. Then yeah. I would totally be able to get there. Yeah, that'd you know? be too easy though. Maybe in elementary Jeopardy, we can do that. You know how they do college Jeopardy? Yeah, we haven't gotten enough kids though. We've been on Craigslist. We've been trying to get kids for the elementary. I have two. Yeah, but your kids, they don't want to come on the show. They're just a little rowdy, but no, I didn't mean they don't want to come on the show though. They hate you. They were resent you for not being there. Oh, I can always bribe him to do stuff with me. I paid him to get ice cream with me two nights ago. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Because I wanted to spend time with my kids. What, that's well, what you do as a mark? dad. Who was the mark? What? What was the angle? What was your scheme? His name's Rubio. I'm, ta I'm not talking about the kids. I'm <laughs> saying, I'm saying, what was your angle? Like, why? There's no way you wanted to just get ice cream with your kids. Why did you do it? I want to have sex with my ex-wife. Yeah, I knew it. Okay. There's always something. I'm just saying, there's always something afoot. I wanted to get back in the sheets with my old ex-bird. <laughs> At least you're honest about it after I pried it out of you. Her new husband is a four-time MVP, plays in the NFL, and he just moved to New York this season, so. Moved to New York? Yeah. Why, why, why this? <laughs> oh, he why plays this? for the Jets now. Oh, are you talking about Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, and I did the quotes because their stadium's actually in New Jersey, but it doesn't really matter for the story. Your ex-wife is Shailene Woodley? Yes. <laughs> From Life of Secret Life of an American Teenager? Yes. What the fuck? I had no idea, man. You have a kid named Rubio with her? <laughs> You know them, dude. I, you've, I've introduced you to those kids. You introduce me to new kids every week. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do down the timeline for four, please. Air Jordan 1s are released. Diamond Life by Sade. Apollo 11 lands on the moon. Um, oh. Graydon. I'm going reverse here. Like three, two, one. That is incorrect. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not going to guess for this one. Diamond Life. Air Jordan's Apollo 11. Oh, mm. Apollo 11 wasn't the first moon landing. I was just thinking it was the first one. Like 1969? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I did it. And it makes sense because it's the 11th Apollo that it wouldn't <laughs> be the first one. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? It's probably yeah. Apollo 1. That landed on the GD Mooney. The first one? Yeah. I thought that one was called Malaysian Flight 370. Is that what it was called? That one ended up on the moon, but it was heading to South Africa. Oh, so. uh, okay. <laughs> Let's do word origins for two. You can say this word when you've won. It comes from an Arabic term, shamat, translating to the king is dead. I mean, I am, I'm thinking Shibuya. I'm thinking Huzzah, but that's more like you found something. You know what I mean? No, Huzzah is definitely when you win. Oh, okay. Graydon. Huzzah. That is incorrect. God damn it. <laughs> Huzzah. <laughs> you win the World Series? You Whatever. Go, Huzzah. I wasn't going to guess it. You just talked me into it. You said yeah, definitely. Yeah, this is a mind game. Remember that. Don't touch my bill. I'm gonna fuck, fuck your life up after this. New York, <laughs> fly me to the moon. Stop. Uh, I'm not gonna guess. This is checkmate. Checkmate. Oh, that makes sense. I'll take the checkmate. <laughs> Just no, kidding. really. He's picking it up. No, really. I insist. Yeah, no. Take it. No, really. Yeah, of course. I enjoy paying Please for things. Please pay for it. <laughs> I am running low on cash. I'm going to start paying for stuff, but begrudgingly. No, please let me take care of it. <laughs> See how people feel about that. No, no. I insist. No, yeah, he paid, but like he really didn't seem happy about it. I hope we're all right. No, no, really. It's my treat. <laughs> oh. Let's do duets for eight, please. Funeral, heaven or hell. Riley. DC the Don Tolliver. That is correct. Yes. Funeral Deluxe coming soon. DC the Don shouts out. Love you, DC. Uh, Don Tolliver, that never met you. <laughs> so, I have nothing to say to you. 
Let's do word origins for four, please. The word salary comes from this mineral, a highly valued commodity which was once used to pay soldiers. Graydon. Salt! That is correct. Ooh. Worth your weight in salt. Yeah. Worth your work in salt. Shit like that. Salt used to be worth more than gold. Whatever. No one cares about my stupid little knowledge. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck you, Salt Bay. Stole my other wife. Sodium chloride before anyone else. That's Salt Bay. I was going to say about Don Tolliver. I know it's a little late, but his name is spelled Don to liver. And maybe I'll take a little Don to the liver tonight at the bar. <laughs> it's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's really good. Thank you. I just had to get it out. I had to shoot it up in the air. Yeah. I know he's too far away. I'll never hit him. The old <laughs> joke clown running away from me, but I just had to let one sing. Yeah, no, I think you hit him. I think you, you think so? Yeah, I think so. If I'll go down as a legend. That's a little bit much. They'll sing songs about me after I'm gone. <laughs> I don't think that people are going to celebrate you for eternity because you shot a clown who was running away. Well, as a metaphorical joke clown, and I used pretty clever wordplay to say I was going to drink a lot of tequila later. No, I loved it. Yeah. I don't know about going down as a legend, though. Okay. I've said a lot of wordplay on this channel, yeah. and I am going to go down as an absolute schmuck. Yeah, nobody, <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah. Low key. Both of us. Yeah. We will be forgotten. I'll be lucky to be a nobody. Yeah, I think you might be worse than it. Yeah, I think, so too, <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. you might be infamous, as yeah. they say. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right, let's keep this going. Tony, give me down the timeline for six. Billie Jean King wins the Battle of the Sexes tennis match against Bobby Riggs. The Free Will and Bob Dylan album. Richard Nixon becomes the first president to resign. Graydon. Show me Bob, Billy, Dick Nix. That is correct. Oh. Free Will and Bob Dylan's like 62. Battle of the Sexes, whatever. Um, Richard Nixon was like 69 or something. <laughs> you know what's interesting is the word resign. To resign means to step away. Yeah, but it's like resign. But also resign yeah. means you're coming back. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. something about it is an odd one. It's like means both. Oh, y'all read it wrong. I'm not resigning. I'm resigning for another four <laughs> years. Am I right, America? Jeez. Um, show me who shot you for 10. In a 2021 music video, Michael Imperioli of The Sopranos and The White Lotus fame plays a deadly game of poker with Michelle Zuner, the lead vocalist of this indie band. Riley. Is this Japanese breakfast? That is correct. Oh, nice. Very good, very good. I believe it's Michelle Zahner. I did not know about this music video, I just know her name. She's also a best-selling author. She had a book that came out last year or two years ago, and it's a New York Times bestseller. And Hillary Clinton won a Grammy. Yeah. Boy, it sure is fun playing this game because you really leave with a little extra knowledge. <laughs> you, your tone still. I was picking it up at the end. Uh, it started yeah. sad, but then yeah. I was like, I do love knowledge. It's like you're picking up the bill again. <laughs> you guys want another round? It's on me. <laughs> Hillary sure picked up the bill for a minute. Anyway. What the fuck? She I, left them. I know, but she, she didn't leave them. They're still together. She picked them up, like, off the ground when he had that whole blowjob incident. God, that must have been hard for him. It has to be hard to get a good blowjob. <laughs> I led you right there, and you opened the door and kicked it in. All right, let's keep this party going. Let's do Grammy winner from the speech for six, please. Thank you. This could be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Within the greater context of their speech, but this person just said this, and I forget who it was right now, but I know that it's a famous moment. If you press it, I'll say something. All right. Riley. Is it Boney Bear? That is incorrect. Okay. So you can't press it again. That's <laughs> not how it works. Keep it going. I just drain my points. <laughs> just keeps uh, going. Miley Cyrus. Uh, I don't know. Justin Timberlake. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to guess. <laughs> just playing. <laughs> this is Andre 3000. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, look at that. He's got a little funny thing on his E. I don't know if that's actually there in his name. But it is. It, it, is, is it? I don't yeah. think it is. Andre. Andre 3000. On Dr. Dre 3000. Oh, different category. <laughs> Putting 3,000 on Dr. Dre's head. Oh, Jesus Christ, Riley. Andre 3,000 is just wordplay. I didn't mean anything by it. <laughs> okay, well, you can't <laughs> fucking threaten. It was a joke. He will kill you. Who shot you for six? Tim Burton's edgy punk style lines perfectly with this hot fuss band, which he filmed a music video for in 2012. Riley. The Killers. That is correct. I love a bunch of hot fuss. <laughs> what? Don't take that hot fuss, please. <laughs> Extra hot. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Cover me in that hot fuss. What's fuss? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, Big pile of hot fuss. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, fill in the blanks, pal. <laughs> what music video did Tim Burton direct for them? Here with me. I don't know that song. Grammy winner from the speech for eight, please. 
When I was nine years old, I told my mom I was going to be an Olympic gymnast, even though I could barely do a cartwheel. She thought I was joking, but I was super defensive. And the next week, I told her I was going to win a Grammy. Graydon. Billie Eilish. That is not correct. I don't know. Who is this? This is Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, we were there, right? Take her Grammy away from her. Why? <laughs> I don't know, man. He is searching for my lost shaker assault. That's my whole salary, man. <laughs> Some people say hey, there's a <coughs> man to blame, but I know. Some people say oh. there's a woman to blame. <laughs> Bob Dylan doing Margaritaville. I fuck with that. <laughs> Whoa, but I know. <laughs> Cheeseburger in paradise. <laughs> That's good, man. Yeah. French fried potatoes. <laughs> oh, uh, video game sounds for two, please. Round one. Fight. Brayden. Mortal Kombat. That is incorrect. Ah, oh, bullshit. Riley. Is it Street Fighter? That is correct. Yeah, sweet. I only know that because we did it in samples for that, uh, for Nuketown. Yeah. I'd have never played that game. Yeah. I used to play it at the skating rink. We had a skating rink? Yeah, I had a skating rink. We or you? I did. You like we, like my hometown, me and my boys. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> and the girls. And everybody else, too. Yeah. Oop. How about word origins for six, please? We derive this word from an old Germanic tale of a demon horse who would come sit on one's chest while they were sleeping and suffocate them. Graydon. Paralysis? That is incorrect. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Riley. Is it a Charlie horse? That is incorrect. Aww. What is it? Nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Mare is a horse. Yeah. Nightmare. Oh, that's so cool. I actually really liked learning about this one. Thank you, guys. I love etymology, dude. It gets my fucking rocks off. The older I get, the more I like it. And I can't have soy, so like soybeans, uh, so I don't yeah. like it as much, but. I learned that uh, we say of course because it means of the natural course. Of course. It's to be expected. <laughs> of, course. of course. Of the natural of course. course. Who shot you for eight, please? The creative partnership between Kanye West and Spike Jones began in 2007, but we never thought they would take it this far when they co-directed his video for this song. Graydon. The Wire? That is incorrect. <laughs> I have what, minus 30? Because that one was done by Cootie. Sure. <laughs> Riley. Flashing Lights. That is correct. Just had to do the lyrics in my head to get nice. there, you know. We can take it this far. Spike Jones and me. He shot her, man. Huh? Spike Jones shot her. Who? Joaquin Phoenix and a robotic Scarlett Johansson having sex. <laughs> oh, the movie. I thought you meant like you shot her. I was Bro. like, who? Uh, video game sounds for four, please. Pool. <laughs> <laughs> Graydon. Is this Minecraft? That is correct. <laughs> what is the, what, what sound is it in Minecraft? When you take damage. Oh, Ooh. I thought it was Captain Falcon for a second. I don't know what his game is, but I just thought like it would be like him being like, Whoa! Yeah. you know, show me your boobs. Oh. <laughs> First place I saw boobs was on a Minecraft server, actually. Funny you brought that up. What? Yeah. I thought <laughs> Minecraft was like five years old or something. Well, because I used to think it was like a million years old and then everybody thought I was a moron for saying that. <laughs> right. I also saw boobs for the first time five years ago. Really? Yeah. And I always closed my eyes. I had sex with plenty of people. I just never saw their boobs. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'd say cover those things. Amazing Grace. What? You were blind, but now you see. <laughs> Fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> Show me down the timeline for eight. Deflate Gate. Pokemon Go is released. 1989 by Taylor Swift. Great in. Is it 1989, Deflate Gate, then Pokemon? That is correct. I remember because I was on acid when Pokemon Go was out in LA. Yeah. <laughs> do you realize how much acid people think you do? Like, cause you, you always have a story about acid. Yeah, that's kind of like, how it works. Yeah, but it's just like, wow. Like, people think, because you've probably done acid, like, what? How many times? At like? least a centennial. Centennial? Yeah. That's a hundred? Yeah. A hundred times. Yeah, at least. That's a lot. Oh, I know. You'd think I would be scrambled eggs. <laughs> yeah. And I am sometimes, but yeah, I'm, for the most part, I'm good. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, yeah. I could meet an old person and they would think I'm a respectable young man. And the numbers say that that shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Scientists hate me. <laughs> There's only one clue left. What's our score? Minus five. 
move to 32. Oh, you can play. <laughs> you can only play if you get this one right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to play regardless. Well, yeah, you can answer it. But... Yeah, but I'll get to wager one if I get this one right. Grant, play me that video game sound for six. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow in the knee. I mean, that's fucking, uh... Graydon. The Skyrim? That is correct! Really? Oh, wow! Dude, I was gonna guess Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, <laughs> well, that is more like British kind of deal. It's like an old-timey voice there. Oh, see, I don't know how cowboys talk. Yeah, that is definitely the voice actor from a guy in Game of Thrones. It might be, I don't know. Can I hear it one more time? Because if I, I want to be able to piece it together yeah, if I can. Yeah. And I took an arrow in the knee. Doesn't that sound like Jon Snow? And I took an arrow to the knee. It sounds like John <laughs> fucking Snow. If it's John Snow, that's insane. Yeah, well, it sounds like know. John Snow. All right, that, Sky Rim job, here we go. <laughs> that's called the Mile High Club. <laughs> hey, I, got I, mean, I got my ass eaten in the air, airport, airplane bathroom. Call that a Sky Rim job. Sky Rim. That's awful. I love it, I never dude. played this game. You would like it. What it's like it? long and slow. It's a lot of reading, and it's like adventure-based, and it's like role-playing, and it's a real slow burn of building your attributes up and navigating the world. Kind of hard to navigate the world, how big it is. It glitches <laughs> out quite a bit. Oh, it sounds yeah. like I'd love it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, tons all of, the rest tons of, of the critters right. and like little side quests. Help me on my farm, please, sir. The tiger lions are stealing my turnips. And then you can like kill them. <laughs> And then like a big horse goblin will come out and fuck your mouth or something. <laughs> All right, buzzers away. It's 32 to one. 32 to yes. one. We're hoping that score is right. That's just the score we have keeping track here. So if it's wrong, I mean, who knows? You know, whatever. We're just <laughs> Either gonna do way, Final Jeopardy this way. Either way, I get a thousand bucks, which is awesome. No, we don't have the budget for the Jeopardy thing. Just give it to me now. No, that's not. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. We, usually we write our wagers and we like show Grant and then like we don't tell each other. I'm going to wager 32. I'm going to do it. Or 31. Yeah. 31. So if I get it wrong and you get it right, you win. And if I get it wrong and you get it wrong, I win. Is that cool? What if I wager zero, though, because I feel like playing conservatively? <laughs> like, I want to keep my one in case you wager it all. Well, then we will tie. No, if I wager none. And I wager 31. Well, right, but you could, this could be a smoke and mirrors, and you're going to wager 32. And then I could win even if I get it wrong. Why would I do that? <laughs> Why would you wager 31 to begin with? You know what I mean? It's all mind games, dude. I'm trying to navigate a fucking minefield here. <laughs> What's the category? Billboard charts. Oh. Yeah, okay. billboard charts. Okay. Show yours. Everybody see it? Okay. Now we're going to see the clue. We're going to hear the original Final Jeopardy song made by Hunter Veers. God, yes. <laughs> Renowned blues musician Hunter Veers. <laughs> That's going to last 30 seconds. Yeah. And then we will have to be finished with our answer. Mm -hmm. We will reveal them and a winner will be crowned. Yes. Let's see that Final Jeopardy clue. This comedy YouTuber who found fame through rapping became the first YouTuber to ever have an RIAA certified platinum single on March 9th, 2018. I show mine first, right? I believe so. Yeah. You are, you're tailing. Yeah, the leader goes last. Okay. And I don't feel good about it. I do. Yeah. And it makes me feel bad about that. You go, we got to get your money when you can, brother. I'll be back for another round. Don't worry. That's true. That's true. I'll sign, I'll resign the rematch right now. You want to run this shit back? Same board? No. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> we can play yeah. a real game of Jeopardy out there afterwards, see who knows real knowledge instead of this make-believe musician bullshit. Ask me math stuff, science stuff. Ancient empires, dates, specific dates of obscure events, playwrights, literature. And I'll get two or three of those, right? I was going to say, yeah. we've played Jeopardy before. Yeah, it's and, usually and pretty yeah, You get like two or three, and yeah. I get two or three. Yeah. yeah. We make a good team, though. Yeah. All right, here goes my answer. I put Bo Burnham. And I put Joji. That is incorrect, both. Ah. Both are incorrect. Mm -hmm. Wow. The correct answer is rice gum. Mm. I should have wagered zero, bro. We could have tied and gone to another final. Rice Gum had the it's the first YouTuber with a platinum single. That is wild. I really thought that it was Joji. I guess at the end of the day, one to nothing doesn't look that bad, so I feel pretty good now. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I actually feel better too. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. 
and uh, you for yeah. watching and playing along at home. And thank me for being for being here. All right, that was another episode of Jeopardy. Let us know if you like it. Let us know if you want us to play it again. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. All that stuff that I said at the beginning. But Graydon, could you leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave a little advice? It may be the land of the brave, but it's definitely not home of the free. <laughs> All right, this has been iMind TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we shall see you in the next one. Mr. Gorbachev, rip off my shirt. <laughs>